So Annie is defending herself. If people didn't think that she was insane before, this is definitely going to prove it. She knows nothing about law or procedure. She's not prepared. She's emotionally all over the place and completely paranoid. And Adam? Well, apparently, JR has gotten to him. JR made him choose between them or Annie. And he thinks Adam will pick JR and company. Well, listen, up until yesterday, Annie was pretty certain that Adam was on her side. But Adam is all about loyalty. So, hmm. so Annie and Scott may not have actually had an affair, but Annie's lips were all over him. She might have gone a little too far. So I think this is Adam's chance to watch her burn in hell and know that he lit the match. If Annie thinks that Adam has turned against her, there's no telling what she will do. Believe me, I've been there. I have to call Emma as a witness. No, no, Annie, you, you don't. She was there that night, Ryan. I don't Ryan. care if she was there that I night. I am fighting for my life here, okay? Everybody in this town is against me except for Adam. I need my child on the stand proving that I'm a good mother and a good person. The fact that you want her there in the first place proves that you're neither of those things. Annie, what, what, what do you want her to be in the court while you're dragged out in handcuffs? I don't you think that's going to happen, Well, then Ryan. wake up. Look, however this turns out, Annie, how could you want our seven-year-old little girl up on the stand? How? How? After, after Stuart's murder, she's been pulled in like a thousand different directions, right? Come on. One parent to another. Please, don't put her through this hell. Please, Willis will rip her apart, I Annie. need Emma, right? What about what she needs? She needs to be protected, Annie. All right? And if you're not going to do the right thing, then I will. I will do whatever I have to do to stop this. Fine. But when the custody case begins and I am free, Ryan, I will remember this. You showed no mercy. Neither will I. Is Emma going to testify? No. Oh, that's a relief. Relief? Relief is the last thing I feel. Look, I get you want to take a stand, but Madison framed your wife for murder. Doesn't mean she deserves to have the life beat out of her by her father. But well, we don't know I know, that. no proof. But what if Madison flipped out on us because of her history of abuse? First her father, then North. So... It's a She's a victim, so she decides to victimize our family? Come on, man, your wife is still terrified of that so woman. So what you gonna do? You gonna walk away? Remember the dance marathon? Madison took a piece of glass and cut herself in the face, said Natalia did it. She shows up here with bruises all over her face and says her father did it? You gotta see my point You're here. You're not gonna give up on this, are you? Are you gonna apologize? He should be in here, not me! Is that a no? Because if it is, you can sit right here in the tank until your trial. Can't be much help to Madison from here, now can you? Like you give a damn. Franklin, I told you, if Madison is really in trouble, I will help her. Do you mean that? Yes, I mean that. Now, will you please help me keep my hard-headed son out of jail? Apologize. It'd be a lie, but that's cool, right? Nothing wrong with lying to protect your family and your wife. I know what it's like to be beaten by a man, put in the hospital. That's actually how I met Frankie. He does look good in shining armor, doesn't he? Sorry. Look, Madison, you were abused. You lashed out at your husband, at me, Frankie, his parents. It doesn't excuse what I've done. No, it doesn't. I am sorry. Not that I expect you to forgive me. I mean, you lost a child for what I did. I'm sure you're hungry, so I'm going to go grab us something to eat. Are you going to tell Frankie that I'm here? No. You don't want him to help me. 
I'll be back. Lock the door. And Madison is a widow is because she murdered her husband and she framed Randy but she didn't stop there she harassed my family she lied to us blackmailed us oh my god I'm sorry so you'll you'll understand if I approach Madison's claims with just a certain amount of doubt many victims of abuse become abusers themselves it doesn't excuse Madison's behavior but certainly it, it explains it an explanation doesn't undo the damage she's done. No, of course not. But if we could just put a stop to it. We only have Madison's word. And she's been in a psychiatric facility for some time. Yeah, put there by her father. Her abusive father. Angie, when I looked into Madison's eyes, what I saw... My father... I'm just worried that Madison doesn't have enough fight left in her to stop this man. You really do want to save this woman, don't you? I couldn't stop my father, but I will stop this man.